Hi, this is David. We're back, and once again, we're going to dive into this Java Spring Boot application that I've been working on for some time. Uh, today, we're going to talk about something called Mapped Diagnostic Context, or MDC, which is part of the logging framework that can assist in logging information that you always want to capture. Uh, now, just as a refresher here, we've got a simple web service we built using Spring Boot, and there's a there's one method on there called Add Numbers. It just you can just uh, do a HTTP get to this, and then the query or not the query string, but in the URL pass in slash first number slash second number. It'll add those two numbers together, and it does so with this service right here. The add numbers math service dot add number. If I go to that, you'll see it's a pretty simple thing. It just adds the two numbers together and returns the result. So that's what we're going to do. And it's running right now, so I can actually show it to you. And running, if I want to add together like. 10 and 5. I do so like that. And it looks like I have a breakpoint in here, so let me resume. And 10 plus 5 is in fact 15. That's great. Um, now we are doing some logging in here. <clears throat> and uh, so, so for example, in the service, in this math service, uh, well, actually, we're not doing any logging. I should add some. I wanted to add some logging. So I have the support within the controller here. I do have support for logging. That was an earlier video I did with this, this logger. And the logger, if you look closely, you'll see that it's from uh, org.sl4j.logger. It's implementing that interface. Uh, that's the logging we're doing. So it's controlled in part by this log back dash spring XML. So here we're doing, we're saying I want to log to application insights and to the console. And the specifics of that are up here in these sections here under our appenders. Um, also, we're logging, I want to log at the info level. So if you want to know about that, just go back and watch the logging video. Uh, but that says I want to log anything info and above. So info and warn and errors, anything more serious than that. But I want to skip things like trace. There are less than that. Um, and uh, now I want to add some logging. Now if I go back to my controller, it kind of makes sense that I've already got this private variable called logger. And I could just add something right here like logger dot info and specify just a string for the overload. So info I'll just say uh, controller started add numbers. Maybe just want to add it record somewhere the fact that it got to this point in my program. That's not an uncommon thing to do. And then I can also put some information about the parameters that were passed in, like uh, first first number and second. So maybe later on when I go back and do some troubleshooting, it'd be helpful to know that it reached that point in the code And that it is um, actually, and what what values were passed in, uh, and I can do something similar in my service right here. So once it gets into here, I'll say something like uh, math service called and add numbers to the name of that method. And the first, it looks like I've got the same name written, name here. Uh, I don't have a logger up here, so let me make sure that I put this private variable, logger, inside of the class, but outside of the method. And then I'll do control dot right here to import that logger. I am using Visual Studio Code these days. I switched just uh, just because IntelliJ was fine, but I wanted to try this and pass in the name of this particular class, which is Math Service Impl dot class right there. And I think uh, looks like I have one problem here, and the problem is. I probably have the wrong, oh, you know, I see what I did. I have the wrong um, 
import for this logger. There's a lot of things named logger. I don't want the ch.qos. Get rid of that. And instead, I want the one that is from org.sl4j right here. And this one also is not the hibernate one, but org.sl4j. There we go. Uh, so now this should work, um, and I can restart this application and call it again. And it shouldn't do anything. Get rid of that breakpoint. It shouldn't do anything different once I call it, other than the fact that it's going to log some things. So if I call it again from Postman, 10 and 5, I expect it to still return 15. And it works for all kinds of number. 10 and 6 are 16 now. So this this still works. But if I look down here, I'm really logging to the console. So I should be able to see things like here, math service called, first is 10, second is 6. Controller started, add numbers, first is 10, second is 6. So all that logging is coming out here. And that's great. Um, now, and I'm also, I'm also logging to Application Insights, which is, it takes a few minutes for it to pro propagate over to there. So I'll show that later on in this video. What I want to do now is I want to add something that is going to uh, be automatically logged both inside of this service and inside of this controller and inside of this service. But I don't want to have to repeat my code because maybe I'm calling up multiple services here. And that's where MDC comes in. So what I can do here <clears throat> is in my controller, right here, I want to log something in particular. So what I'll do is I'll say, uh, the thing I'll log is I'll, I'll do a request key. So every time this thing comes in, I'll generate a random number, UUID dot random UUID right there and store that or I'll turn it to a string to string how about that and I'll store that in a variable called request key and then I want to log that I don't want to log it every time that's what MDC does so if I do MDC dot put this will store it in the mapped diagnostic context and make it available to all these loggers and this is just, a, you can see it's just a key value pair. So the key is a string, I'll call it request key. And the value is going to be that variable I just created, the random number, request key, right here. And that's all I need to do, except for resolving this MDC, control dot, and import that right there. That's all I need to do is to, um, add this put right here. And what will happen here is that when I run this again, let me restart it. Here. And now that it started, I can call it again. And again, I won't see anything different here. I should automatically notice that it's passing, uh, returning 16. That's 10 plus 6. If I do 1 plus 6, that's seven so this thing still works and it's still logging what I expected all that information however what will happen is that in my application insights when it propagates to there I'll have this extra piece of information this request key right here and that's useful because maybe there's a lot of different clients that are hitting this web service and I want to troubleshoot that one client and if I know that request key then I can go into the logs and I can filter based on that one request key that I know about and find out everything that happened for that. I'm going to pause the video right now because it'll take a few minutes to propagate to Application Insights and then I'll come back in a few minutes and I'll show you what's in App Insights. 
We are back. It's about five minutes into the future, and so all of that logging information is propagated to Application Insights. And as you can see, here's my logs of messages are showing up here. It starts off with controller started, and then the first and the second number are output, math service called, and the first and second number are output. We decided that's the, all the log statements we do that got into here. Uh, but what you'll notice is really interesting here is that every one of these, if I expand it, yeah, it has things like the timestamp and the operation name and all sorts of information that's useful along with the message, but also under custom dimensions, we have an extra property here called request key. And that request key is here in the logging statements that were for math service, and it's here in the logging statements that were for add numbers, right here. And that helps us if, for example, we have hundreds of clients hitting this simultaneously and we want to track and find just the ones for this particular request ID. We can do that. And it's done just through one line at the top level of code for the controller just that right there. Put it right there, and it, every time I use a, I, I use this logger object, it will automatically log that, even though in the service, that MDC appears nowhere in here does it say to do that. It just knows that all of my logging for this request should include this extra piece of information, the request key, that'll be in my custom dimensions. One thing you keep need to keep in mind is that if you call something out of process, like if you call another web service, then it will not be in that. You'll have to explicitly pass that and put code in that web service to log it. In this video, I've shown you how to use MDC to automatically log key information. This is David. Thank you for watching.